Excuse me, but are you Mr. Capello? My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm hoping you could spare a moment to talk. Manners, what a pleasant surprise. Most of your colleagues have lacked even the simplest of common courtesies. You're a suspect, sir, but not yet a criminal. I shan't treat you as such. Your case is refreshingly unusual, and I wish to get to the bottom of it. Manners and enthusiasm. Huh. May you go far, young man. What can I help you with? You are surprisingly composed for a man accused of murder. Not so easily shaken, I take it. Life is full of surprises. You'd be astonished how many deals go sour due to a force majeure. One becomes skilled at adapting. I am confident this will all be set straight. Until then, I will endure. And yet your fist tells a different story. It seems you recently found yourself in a fight. A fight? I'm afraid not, young man. It was a minor mishap, with none such adventure. To succeed in life, you don't need to fight. One must simply be smart and persistent. I am speaking from experience. Please, tell me how you ended up in this situation. Well, this morning some clients arrived to finalize their purchase of a Copello Maggiore safe. But when we opened the door, out tumbled a dead man. And I take it this wasn't normal? No, I normally keep my corpses in the wardrobe. Please, young man, spare me your wit. The rest of the day was a blur. I recognized the victim, and it seems so did the police. That was enough to make me the main suspect. Who sent for the authorities? No one. As it happens, we had a break-in last night. Nothing was stolen, but for insurance purposes, the report had to be made. So... Police officers just happened to be on the premises when we discovered the body in the safe. You mentioned you were showing your wares to some prospective buyers when the safe was opened. Who were they? Clerks from the bank. They inspected the safe from top to bottom yesterday. I assumed the sale was just a formality at that point. And the safe was closed? It's usually open, but it locks automatically when the door swings closed. That's another marvelous Copello invention. A coffin that locks itself. Marvelous indeed. Help me grasp your movements yesterday. What time did you meet the customers from the bank, and did you have any other appointments? Yesterday, uh, the bank clerks arrived at 10 a.m. Uh, afterwards, I was alone in the office until my wife Augusta came in at 3 p.m., I left for home at 6.30 p.m. And what about this morning? Our meeting for the demonstration was set for 9 a.m. I arrived about half an hour prior in order to prepare. I have one final inquiry. Do you recall the time at which the safe door was closed? Young man, I may just as well ask you when you closed your cigar case. I have opened our safes a dozen times a day for a dozen years. I do not recall. You say you became the suspect when the police identified the victim. Is there history between you? Surely you jest. That man and I have never met, and never would, unless he became the first detty in history to use our products. Some sort of family feud? I'm afraid I'm not familiar. You must be new to Godona. It's an old tale. Back in Italy, generations ago, the Dettis tried to ruin our family business. 
they nearly succeeded. The Capellos rightfully struck back, but there has been bad blood ever since. And does that blood flow in you too? I told you, sir, it's an old story, or it was. I fear this horrible event portends worse to come. My wife may be in danger as we speak. I'd like to inquire about the burglary. I'm not sure I see the connection, but if you wish to know more, talk to Billy Lloyd, the night watchman. He scared off the thief. Was it also Billy that discovered the burglar? No, my wife did. She had stayed late yesterday. Poor Augusta. At least she's safer with the police than at home alone. Well, Mr. Capello, I think that's all I need from you at present. Where can I find your office? Here, take my card. Billy should be on site to assist with the investigation. And please, sir, would you check on my wife before you depart? Thank you. I will endeavor to speak with her before I leave the station. Please, treat her gently. Women lack our resilience when it comes to ordeals like this. I shall eagerly await your return. After all, there's little else I can do. Come on, Sherry. Say, I am the law. Can I ask you a question? Oh, I don't know about that. Ask one of the others. Mrs. Cabello, please wait in the office. The inspector will be here soon. 